wherever humanity gropes for that universal meaning of life. He is there. He is everywhere, for he is Commander USA. Far below a teeming shopping mall, Commander USA enters his video vault to bring you action, adventure, and zany non-stop thrill in Commander USA's Groovy Movie. Today's Groovy Movie, they still call me Bruce. And now, Commander USA. Whoa! And hey, are. Commander USA here, soaring superhero. Legion of Decency, retired. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad you showed up today. Yeah, whoa. Glad you showed up today, man. Yeah, because I got one groovy movie that's a doozy for you, man. Oh yeah, it's full of laughs, full of action, everything anybody could want. Well, almost, right, Monroe? Oh, yeah, man. Let me get the old fella psychotronic screens heat and radiation sealed open here, and I'll show you what I mean. Whoa, here, yeah, the tubular guidance system is greased and ready, eh? Yeah, take a look at this one, boy. What? Whoa, wait, what the heck? Wait, cats, now I must have activated my remote control camera up in the mall there, boy. That... Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Sue, is that you? Hello, Commander. Wow, hey, how you doing, man? Oh, yeah, you know, Sushimi, don't you? Oh, yeah, I used to drop in there a pressure point massage salon every once in a while. Get a little root beer rub down, you know? Surprised to see you, Commander. Hey, not half as surprised as I am there, Sue. What the heck are you doing in the mall? Sushimi Oriental Emporium. Acupuncture salon, karate school, and... Sushi bar! Whoa! Yeah, talk about one-stop shopping, huh? Oh. Whoa! Slay cat! Whoa! Ooh, so how's business, Sue? Very good, Yo, Slay cat. Pretty handy guy to have around there, huh? <laughs> Why, I bet you... Oh. Whoa! Oh. Whoa, oh. that happened. We find new way to save an acupuncture needle. Ah, oh, no kidding. What are you doing? Buying them in bulk or something? No, we use shish kebab sticks from customer plate. Whoa! Yeah! Holy kid! Yeah, I think I'll stick to the tempura, huh? Hey, listen, Sue, if you have a minute, why don't you drop down to the video vault? I would love to, Commander. Hey, great. I'm showing a movie today I think you'd really like. Well, I will. See you shortly. Come All right, on. Sue. Yeah, take it easy. Ah, that Sue's a great girl, boy. Yeah, she really would like this movie, man. Yeah, take a look. It's a Johnny Yoon spectacular. Whoa! Written, directed, produced, promoted, packaged, and performed by Mr. Johnny Yoon. Whoa! Yeah, you recognize him, boy? Oh, sure, man. Like, he was famous for weeks and weeks and weeks for a while there. Holy cats, man. What shout? Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Is that Pat Paulson? I've seen this before. A boy longing for a father figure. I don't want my father's figure. Holy shit! Yeah, it is Robert Guillaume. What? We'll get it. You know him, don't you? Oh, sure, of course. That's Joey Travolta. There is no room in society for misfits and freaks. Yeah, this one is just gags, gags, and more gags. Whoa! Well, there's one gag Johnny forgot there. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Button up your booties, Betty, because this time it's going to be a good one. It's Johnny Yoon starring in They Still Call Me Bruce. Whoa! Why don't you pick on someone your own size?
is your jar, buddy. A oh, thing. This is a 500-year-old genuine Korean vase. Where is Korea? You go six blocks straight, make a left, and you'll find an airport. <laughs> hey, this guy is funny. Uh, so what happened here? Well, a couple of Mr. B's thugs was shaking me down. He saved my life. Hey, you're better than Bruce Lee. <laughs> Thank you. It's great. Sounds like he's helping us with our work, with the nags. Nags? Are you going around uh, nagging people? Only the bad guys. We're the neighborhood action group. Haven't you ever seen us on television? No. Oh. Well, uh, we patrol the neighborhood and we keep a, an open eye for any trouble. Oh, you should keep both eyes open. You'll see double the trouble. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I'm Ronnie, this is Connie, that's Victor. And I'm Irving Wurlitzer. We call him Motormouth. I was getting to that, fool! So, what's your name? What's your handle? What's your moniker? What did I call you, huh? They still call me Bruce. Springsteen, Bruce Jenner, Bruce Lee, uh, Bruce Jones, he's our garbage man. Yeah, I'm looking for someone even greater to me. Private Brown, who saved my life during the Korean War. That's why I'm in America. Can you tell me where VO is? Well, you can get VO right here at Green's Liquor Store. No, VO, Veterans Office. <laughs> you mean Veterans Administration, VA. VA? Wow. Look, you go right down to this light here, you make a left, you can't miss it. Thanks. Hey, listen, if you ever get in any trouble, you go look us up at McLean's Martial Arts Studio. We'll give free lessons to deserving kids. Oh, that's nice. Thanks again. Take care. Let's go get some TV coverage, gay. I have some service. Service? This isn't a restaurant, you know. I know. You get better service in a restaurant. Wise guy. Well, what the hell do you want? Oh, I'm looking for Private Brown. There's no Private Brown here. Sir! No further action can be taken unless you have an ass waiver. Do you have an ass waiver? I'm not sure. What is it? An ass waiver is an administrative security section form. Do you need an ass waiver? My name is Johnson. Maybe I can help you. Oh, I'm looking for Private Brown, who served during the Korean War. Well, now, first of all, it wasn't a war. It wasn't? We prefer to call it a police action, a conflict. Comprende? See. Si. Any special reason why you're looking for this Private Brown? He saved my life when I was a kid. And I won't go back to Korea till I find him. Well, well, maybe we can narrow it down a bit. Was he white or black? He was brown. Yeah, I know he was brown, but it helped me a lot if you could tell me whether he was white or black. OK, brown was white. So I guess I'll just have to find out how many white browns served in the Korean War. You wait here, OK? How many white browns in 
can there be? So many? Oh, look, you're lucky. You could have been looking for Private Smith. 11,200 Browns? You know, it's a real shame you don't have a first name and make it a lot easier. Ernie. Ernie Brown. Well, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Why didn't you ask me in the first place? You got a middle initial? Now you're pushing it. <laughs> okay, well, here, this should help you. There are only uh, a dozen or so E. Browns in the Houston area. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Hello. I'm Bruce One. Uh, I would like to see Dr. Brown. Is this your first time seeing Dr. Brown? I don't know. Uh, that's why I'm here. You're here to find out if you've ever been here before? I'm not saying that, but I'm here to find out if I've ever seen Doctor before. And where do you think you might have seen him? In Korea. He gave me a cowboy boots and a dollar bill. Uh-huh. Just a minute. Excuse me, Doctor. Um, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I'm afraid that uh, someone has left their fruitcake in the reception area. All right, thank you, Doctor. The doctor will see you immediately, right through this door. All right, Mr. Wan, you told us about the cowboy boots, how you sold lemonade in the battlefields of Korea, and how you feel a need to bring this antique jug with you. I, I think I understand. And don't forget the holster and socks. Holster is, yeah, I've seen this before. A boy longing for a father figure. I don't want my father's figure. He's sumo wrestler, big fat guy. Nurse, would you uh, come in here right this moment? Yeah, thank you. Doc, did you ever save a little Korean boy's life? I help lots of people. And perhaps I can help you. Let's play word association. I'll say a word, then you say the first thing that comes into your mind, all right? All wrong. Uh, no, I... Yes. Stop. Go. No, I, I hadn't even started yet. Okay, let, let's do it again. You ready? Oh, oh okay. Um, pencil. Thighs. No, concentrate, okay? Concentrate. I am. Okay, we'll do it, do it again. Um, doctor? Nurse. Good. Um, apple. Pears. All right, pear. But melon. Door. Knockers. Base. Jugs. Uh-huh. Sex. Please. No more games, Bruce. I want you to make five appointments with my nurse. Five times with your nurse? She's beautiful. Mm. I want to see you five times. At least five more times. It's imperative I see you again. You lonesome guy, Doc? You've been in this office too long. around back. Hey, that's some kind of flower pot. You gonna give it to one of our girls? No, this is for Private Brown. You know, during the Korean War when I was a little boy, Private Brown saved my life. Let me clue you in on something, little man. The only thing our Mr. B saves is money. But, uh... Polly! Polly, uh, so, uh, what do you and your flower pot want? Do you want a drink or do you want a girl? Give me every penny you make, you hear me? Oh! Stop it! Get out of the way, boy. Look, mister, you better get out of here. With my right foot, I can kick your face. With my left, I can kick your nose. With my fingers, I can poke your eyes out. Take a good look at my face. I'm an Oriental. Shh! Take a good look at my knife. Take a good look at my face. I'm Jewish. Mess with my face and you'll hear from my lawyers. Take a good look at my face. It's the last thing you're gonna see. You resemble someone who saved my life. 
You're lucky. I can't hit you. That's your problem, pal. <laughs> I'll be back, you guys. Yeah? Excuse me, Mr. B, but I thought you might like this. Face. How could you sheep dip support something as classy as that? You've been skimming money off me, huh? No, Mr. B. Nothing's too good for you. We all chipped in our savings to buy it for you. <laughs> Never seen anything as beautiful as that since the Korean War. Times there that I never thought I'd make it back. <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? Oh, get downstairs, take care of those broads. Time is money. Pull. Whoop. Oh, Pull. Pull. Yes. Whoa. 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 Pull. Now, hold on. We'll get back Whoa. to these. Don't call me Pull. Bruce right after this. Whoa. Sure. Whoa. Whoa. Good. Good. I mean, why are you giving free karate lessons? You should be paying back Mr. B the money he lent you to build this dump. You know, he's very pleased that you're defending your title again this year. In fact, we're friggin' ecstatic about it. Aren't we, Gator? Gator! We're gonna make this very easy for you, McLean. So you see, if you lose your match, you just lose your title, that's all. But you get to keep your studio and your hell. I'm not throwing any fight. Now, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll give you till about noon tomorrow to think about it, okay? Until then, little grasshopper. So tomorrow, we'll do lunch. Swam! Wait a minute! You can't quit the police force, for God's sake. You're wrong, Captain. You bet your ass I can, and I am. Can't do the job they pay me for. I'll just have to do it on my own if I have to. I can't work undercover with my hands tied. And you and I both know that that slime ball, Mr. B, has got his hands in everybody's pockets from city hall to city desk. Well, you just better make sure your hands are clean, Captain. Because I swear to God, I'm going to put Mr. B in jail along with all of his flunkies. Slim. Slim! Devil, Slim! Wait a minute! Damn it! Get to work! Now! Welcome, welcome. You here to sign up for our special course? Well, you come to the right place. I can see you could use some self-defense lessons. I come to see the nags. Oh, no, no. The nags are for the advanced class. But no need to pay now. We accept all major credit cards. You take Korean Express? We'll take it. You know, I left the home without it. Hey, Bruce. Bruce. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wow, what happened? Bruce? Mother, what happened to you? Oh, your friends. Well, all friends get a 10% discount. Hey, man, what happened? Well, there were 12 guys and the pack of wild dogs with the knives. I took care of them. They won't be dancing for a long time. But they stole the vase for Private Brown. Hey, don't worry. We'll get it back. 
we'll muster up the forces and teach those guys that they can't beat on innocent citizens. Hey, I I'm gonna tell you something. There is no room in society for misfits and freaks. Hey, where did it happen? Susie's massage parlor. That's a blob joint. They got booze and women and pimps and thieves and gangs and massage. Bruce, come with me. Let me clean you up. Yeah, Bruce, go with her. She'll clean you up. This is Master McLean's apartment. Here, have a seat. Do you know what this is? Don't be afraid. Afraid? In America, kids play doctor. In the Orient, we play acupuncture. You're not going to be that lucky. Oh, that smells terrible. Oh, but it feels good. Does it hurt anywhere else? Over here. Relax. I'll go get the rest of the guys. This is Master McLean. Master McLean, this is Bruce. Bruce? Like Bruce Lee? You do kind of look like Bruce Lee. He's better than Bruce Lee. He's better than me. He's got style. He's got speed. He's got punches. He's got kicks. He can turn the world on with a smile. No kidding. Where'd you learn to fight? From my parents. They were karate experts? No, they just hated each other. <laughs> I don't know if you're as good as they say you are, but I do like your sense of humor. Well, let me talk to Bruce alone. Everybody out. Bruce, come in my office. Have, have a seat. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I've been busy with some of my outside business interests. And I need somebody to take care of the studio. Lately, I've been losing a lot of my students to other studios with Oriental Masters. They seem to automatically think that Oriental Masters are better than guys that look like me. They are. I need your face. Oh, I'm a good plastic surgeon. No, I want you. What am I supposed to do? Just walk around like you're the best master from the East. Listen, I got a room in the back you can move into. And while you're at it, try moving some of this martial arts merchandise. Move? Where to? Sell. You gotta sell. But come on, let's go break the good news to Ronnie and the Nags. Boy, they've been in there a long time. You know, I, I hope they give him some work, because I, I could really use an assistant around here. Okay, listen up, guys. I've decided to give Bruce a job. All right. Meet your new master. He'll be staying in the back apartment. So make him feel at home, okay? I'll be taking a little vacation for a few days, and he'll be teaching all my classes. Hey, you must be really good to make a, an impression on Master McLean. You wouldn't believe how good I am. Welcome to the group, Master Bruce. Do whatever he says. Whatever he says? Yeah, it's real. Whoa, oh, oh, hey, there you are, boy. Yeah, look who dropped by. That's my old friend, Sushimi, man. Yeah, she's so sweet, she brought me a little present here. What'd you bring me here, Sue? Whoa! Now the commander can learn all about pleasure points. <laughs> I think my flesh is up a few points already, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, hold on, we'll get back that he still call me Bruce right after this. Whoa, whoa. Man loves you, Bob. Whoa, whoa, whoa easy, Sue. <laughs> I don't know, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. am I heading in the right direction here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Am I getting hot? Oh. Whoa, hey, there you are, boy. Hey, yeah, let's get back to they still call me Bruce. Whoa.
Sure that'll be enough, Captain Merkin? That's enough to take care of the entire city hall. Good. Hey, hey, listen. I got this big nationally televised fight coming up. Now, I want you to be sure to see that everybody's taken care of. <laughs> I'll handle it myself. Good. Connie! Connie! Would you help me tie this belt? Don't you know how to tie this? Well, I do know, but I want you to tie it for me, for good luck. I don't bring anyone good luck. Yes, you do. You help me find the nag, place to stay, and soon I'll find Private Brown. Thank you. Martial arts techniques by Confucius. I'm already confused. Fortune cookies. Private Brown used to call me that. Yeah! <laughs> mm. The key to the martial arts. All in your head. Oh, that means I can unlock the door with my nose. Mm. I think I'm ready. Nobody's allowed to touch this equipment. This equipment belonged to Master Bruce. That's me. Sounds like my mother. The key to martial art in... The key to martial art in... The key to martial arts in the master's office. <laughs> From now on, when you address me, you call me master, sir. Yes, yes sir, master, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir, master, sir. Good. Now, Freddy and Sarah, show me what you can do. Up. I want to see the master do a number. An author. Watch this. Yeah! And a girl, Sarah, give it to him like mommy does it to daddy. Ah, shut up. I don't need to hear that from you. What are you laughing about? Here, take this. I can do better than this with blindfolded. I think you need lesson. Come here. Let's see what you can do. How's that, Master? I was careful not to touch any of your equipment. Now, don't get the wrong ideas. I was trying to show you proper fall techniques. Where did you train? 
I learned from Master Johnson. Masters and Johnson? Maybe I show them something. Take over the class, because you guys are not ready for Master Bruce's technique. Five bucks to put them through their paces. For what? I have to feed my dog, Cato. That's the deal. I want to see you in my office after the class. And make sure you got the cash, Master. Master, sir. Master, sir. That's better. Okay, class, horse stance. Reverse punch. Yeah! 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 You wanted to see me, Master? Oh, yes. You owe me five bucks. Money. Money, money, money. You know, that's the trouble with this world. People think money is more important than love. To me, money is just something I want to marry into. Only because you did a great job out there. I think you should go home because your mother's probably waiting for you. I don't have a home. I live at St. Marie's Home for Boys. Aren't they waiting for you? No way. They don't care about me. They think I'm just a troublemaker. Besides, they're not too fond of Cato either. You take care of Cato, and who take care of you? We look out for each other. You know, when I was your age in Korea, I had a GI friend who saved my life. And I never had a chance to thank him. That's why I'm in America. I want to find him. Good luck. How would you like to have a dinner with Master? Is dinner on you? No, it will be on a plate. But I'll pay. OK, let's go. Before we go, just help me with this stuff. Candy glass. What are these things here? Oh, th these are just used as props for the karate exhibitions to make it look more exciting. Tricks are no substitution for skills. But I know what to do with this thing. Let's take it to my room. Boy. Man, look at this. I got a letter from somebody named Ricky Moss, Sacramento, California. Now, let's see what Ricky has to say here. Huh? Ah. Ah. Dear Commander USA, I dreamed of monsters killing me, and then I became one of them. Whoa. When I woke up, I was sweating. <laughs> wow, thank you for sharing that with me, Ricky. <laughs> Hope you've washed those pajamas. Huh? Hey, you want to write to the Commander? Oh, sure, it's a snap, man. All you gotta do is write to Commander USA, Post Office Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Sure. <laughs> hey, thanks for writing. Commander USA would like to send you a copy of John Stanley's Revenge of the Creature Features Movie Guide. Hmm. Don't I know you from somewhere? Unlikely. I'm pretty new in town. I was wondering where I could find a little action. Well, that depends on what it's worth to you and what kind of action you're looking for. We get all the freaks in here. Hot sake, please. How about some Coke? Oh, I once tried to snort Coke, but the ice cubes got stuck in my nose. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Beer, please. Light. I'll have a bud. Me too. Coming up. Hey, uh, maybe you could help me. 
I'm looking for my sister. Your sister works here? At what's her name? Polly. Polly. What's your name? Bruce. Bruce? Yeah, they still call me Bruce. Hey, Charlie, you got a customer. What's up? This guy wants to see Polly. He says he's her brother. They call him Bruce. Yeah. I call him Dip. Look, anybody wants to see my number one girl, I don't care who it is. Mother, brother, sister, daughter. They got to pay me cash money up front. How much do you pay to see your mother? I don't pay to see my mother. She work for nothing? You got a picture of your mother? Of course not. You want to buy some? Gator Spider, get in here! Oh, so we meet again. You know, uh, sweetheart, we got a little old score to settle. It's you again? Bobby, stay back. Master Bruce will protect you. This is the same guy from the other day. Hey, don't you pull that karate crap out on me. Yeah, last time we took it easy on you. This time we get to kill you. Must I show you how tough I am? I'm gonna eat you guys alive. Listen, you better get out of here. You don't know these guys. They mean business. Oh, shit. This mother is crazy. <laughs> You're bleeding. No, this is a fake blood and rock candy. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Bleh, 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 Bruce, bleh. Stop it. Don't be silly. Look at yourself. You're making a mess. Just try to act normal and blend in with the crowd. I'm going to go get some paper towels. Nothing, man. Something important I have to say to you. Hang on a minute, Mom. Hey, man, is that your woman? Yeah, she won me and Jay Blood. <laughs> Bruce, you're. Uh, Mama, I'll get to you. This girl is so right for me. It's plain to see she's Catch you on the flip side, bro. <laughs> right at home, man. Could you learn a jive talk like that? I'm a black soldier during the Korean War, when we lost everything, no house, no food, no clothes. Oh, a 
black soldier brought you food? No, basketball. Come on. Hey, man. I'm the king of the dance floor. I rule at this disco. You trying to make me look bad? Oh, no. You're doing real good all by yourself. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you look like a real spaz. Come on, Bruce. We don't want to get in trouble here. There won't be any trouble. As soon as I show this weenie who's boss on the floor. Okay, big man. Watch this. Okay, can you kick like that? I can do better than this. I can kick the cigarette out of your mouth. Oh, yeah? Try it. You're gonna get hurt. Wait a minute, I got an idea. I don't say him any worse, buddy. Clean yourself up. Bruce, don't do it. There he is. Let's get him. Wait a second. Let's just see what happens first. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Hey, that's my car. Now, hold on, we'll get back to they still call me Bruce right after this, okay? <laughs> yeah, move. Wait a minute. Did you just steal a car? No, I give him a dollar, just like anybody else. Your place or mine? It's got to be your place, unless you want to go to Korea. Who are you? They still call me Bruce. No, no, no. I mean, what are you? Why are you doing all this? Am I bothering you? No, no, you're not bothering me. You're helping me, but... What are you, some kind of a social worker or something? No, I'm just a plain uh, master in martial arts. Well... Make a make a right it's across from the Grand Hotel up here. But what were you doing in Mr. B's place? Oh, I just went back to that place to get my vase back. And I saw them roughing you up. I thought maybe I could help you getting out of the place. But how did you know that I wanted to get out? I mean, now I've got no job, I've got no money. They're going to be after me. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of you, baby. <laughs> Have you ever driven before? Sure. I drove my brother to drinking. No, I mean, do you have a driver's license? I have two licenses. Two licenses? Yeah. One in front, one in the back. It's impossible. I don't believe it. Just keep going. We're almost home. <laughs> Try to make yourself comfortable. I'm going to go check my messages. It's very nice, Polly. I'm so glad you're doing well. And no point accepting favors from people with uh, less money than you have. Hi, hey, Polly. This is Sam. I need the keys. You left me handcuffed to the bedpost, and my wrists are bleeding. Don't forget who pays the bills. I'm your sugar daddy. Hey, little Bo Peep, come on over. I got the flock. Let's hit the sack. Uh, 
Those were my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have a close family. <clears throat> well, um, listen, why don't you go relax? Uh, go take a bath. That, that's, that's a good idea. Let's, off to here. Come on. It's, uh, to the right, all right? Uh, don't worry, I won't, I won't come in, all right? I'll go get a drink. Seen his car come in here. That looks like him down there. Can I kill him, huh, can I? No. Let's have a little fun first. his last entry, just after 1 a.m. So, in conclusion, the evidence I've gathered should break this city wide open. If anything happens to me, get this to the grand jury. Something about that Bruce fellow, though. Gotta figure out how he fits in all this. Kind of a likable guy, though. Evening, any luck? Got this thing with spiders! I'm gonna light him! Hundred. Oh. Here you are. Oh. Do all Oriental people like this better than sex? God, I'll never know how China got to be a population of over a billion. <laughs> Holly, Holly, you're very pretty, but I'm never ready to jump in bed with you. We don't have to do it in bed. You can do it right here on the carpet. <laughs> the only thing I do on carpet is vacuum. You sure McLean went in there? Oh, of course, Mr. B. He's been in there about uh, half an hour now. You know, he's probably cleaning out his safe right now. Now, look, you bat brains. I want him in one piece. He's the only one good enough to make it to the seventh round. Now, you two turds. You go in there, you get him, you bring him out here to me. I'll do the persuading. You got it? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Now, don't blow it. Here he comes now. Well, 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 if it isn't Father Flanagan, they're not saving the huddled masses again, McLean? Yeah, Mr. B wants to talk to you. again after a few minutes later. Oh, well, that's a nice custom. I just made that up. Well, anyway, it's still a nice custom. You know, I'm afraid the gangs is gonna recognize us. Don't worry, no one's gonna recognize us. Hi, Polly. Long time no seeing, huh? What are you doing with the little jerk? The same thing you're doing with your friend. I'm having sex with them. David, Polly, what's happening? I'm waiting for you to come back with the key. I've been sitting there for three days. Luckily, I broke this thing away from the bedpost. I'm sorry, Sam. Things have been hectic lately. Is he one of your brothers who left the message on the machine? 
Has this little shrimp Charmaine been causing you any trouble? Oh. It's a neat American custom. People nickname after Chinese food. How are you, some dumb guy? Listen, stud, why don't you ask the waitress for some chopsticks? I don't think you're strong enough to lift a knife and fork. Obviously, you guys not with it, you know. Korea is so Americanized, we don't use chopsticks anymore. We use forks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Much better. Listen, punk, you think you're funny? Let me see how tough you are. Well, nice making your... Ow! Ooh. Oh, no. Call you later. Just pick up the check. Come on, Bruce. Well, why is he waving his finger at me? Ignore him. He's saying you're number one. Oh, thanks. Same to you. What? Oh, oh, my hey, oh, oh, oh. hey, just in time. Boy, yeah. Sushimi brought her sushi chef down here to fix us a little snack, man. Oh, yeah, this should be a whole lot of fun. Look for the... Whoa, holy get! Whoa! Hey, oh, hey, that's a handy guy to have a rhyme. Hey, do you do julienne fries? Who's julienne flies? Oh, yeah, well, okay, hold on. Yeah, we'll get back to they still call me Bruce right after this. Sure. Oh! If you win this tournament, you will be in the final. And I'll be very proud of you. I'm afraid. This guy's supposed to be real good. You? Afraid? You will do it. Here, I have something for you. One sock? Yeah. Michael Jackson had one glove and he became a superstar. What's this little greyhound dog on it? You know what they say, leave the dream to us. Oh, I get it. Leave the kick into me. <laughs> I'm gonna suck it to him, master. That's the spirit. to the qualifying finals of the Junior National Martial Arts Championship. We have a number of masters here today. I was going to do all the exhibitions by myself, but it's only fair to give the others a chance to demonstrate their skills. First, I would like to introduce Master Tackett. He's going to break a board with a spinning kick. What is this? I didn't plan to do anything. I think Master Tackett is nervous. I'm not nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Appleby from Appleby Studio. He's gonna break the big block of ice with his forehead. Not four heads, one head. This is even more interesting. I've decided to save my demonstration till the end. On with the competition. Follow this direction. Bow to each other. Fighting stance. Ready? Oh, yeah. uh, uh, right. Markers. Ready? Go. Uh, 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 right. Markers. Call. Point. One point red. Fighting stance. Ready? One point white. Ready? Uh, 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 right. Uh, uh, ready? Uh, right. Marcus, ready? Uh, uh, right. Ready? Uh, uh, right. Ready? Uh, uh, right. Ready? Uh, uh, right. Marcus, ready? Uh, uh, right. Marcus, ready? Uh, uh, right. 
Murders. Score. Salute to each other. Follow this direction. Winner, quiet. And now the event you've been waiting for. The final competition. Billy White from my studio. Roger Burton from Master Applebee's studio. Ready? Oh, you! Ah, break! Partners, call, point. One point, white. Ready? Oh, you! Ah, break! Break it, stop! Partners, call. One point, white. Ready? Oh, you! Fantastic. Congratulations to Billy White. And now, before I do my trick exhibition, I would like to introduce Polly. I don't see McLean nowhere. Polly! Mm, there's a familiar face. When we take her, maybe Mr. B will give us a break. Yeah, good idea. You are on the phone again calling your brothers? <laughs> this is Polly. Don't try anything unless you want to get hurt. Mr. B would like to see you. I don't want anybody to try this trick. This is a very dangerous trick. I myself might not live through this demonstration. That's right. Nobody moves and nobody gets hurt. I hope you all liked my trick demonstration. Thank you very much. This will conclude today's activity. Well, Billy, you did it. Congratulations. Oh, I just remembered. I got one more address to check to find Private Brown. I better go with you. And I want to go, too. No, no. I don't think you should be going around and be seen. Um, besides, I need your motorbike. <laughs> I want you and Cato protect Polly, okay? <laughs>
on, let's get him. With my right foot, I can kick your face. With my left, I can kick your nose. Whoa, let's whoa. get the hell out of here! With my right foot, I can kick your face. With my left, I can kick your nose. With my fingers, I can poke your eyes out. Take a good look at my face. I'm an oriental. coming into your body. I felt something coming oh. into my body. Oh. Well, oh. Yeah, we'll get back. They still call me Bruce right after this. Ah. <laughs> a cheese riddle. It seals water out, holds color in for a freshly stained look year after year. With water seal stain, the next time won't be for a long time. Thompson's water seal stain. Beauty that lasts at last. What's he barking at? He just says that that lassie was a ring run. Hey, Kato, you want to play with Elvin? <laughs> Go get him. <laughs> hey, you think I could pass as Bruce's wife? It's getting late. It's dark outside. I hope nothing happened to him. You really care about him, don't you? Yes, I do. So do I. Hey, I got something for Kato. Oh, Polly, thank you. Sure. Oh, boy, nobody ever gave us anything like this before. Hey, look, Kato. What is it? Shut up! Oh, we... uh, uh, you kid, any more tricks like before, and I'm shooting you and the mutt. Uh, you? You're coming with me. No way, I'm gonna get off me. Hey, tough oh, guy. Rod is useless in front of a gun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can I can I, can I skin the dog? No, we ain't got plenty. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. oh. Ali? Oh my god! What happened? Here's your, um, uh, stuff. Oh. I'm afraid your friend is in very serious condition. He's in a coma. What's coma? It's a state of unconsciousness caused by his injury. But can I see him? No one is allowed to see him until he comes out of the coma. I gotta go to Susie's massage parlor. Oh. <laughs> hey, bye. Look what we found, huh? Very good, boys. You may not have to fill out those organ donor cards after all. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. You made me very angry. Don't ever make me angry again. Next time, I'll kill you. Now. What was his name? Bruce! Bruce? I like Bruce Lee. He's a kung fu master. Hey, boss, why don't you just let this guy Bruce fight for you? Forget it. He's a man of integrity. He wouldn't be caught dead working for any gangsters. <laughs> gangsters, huh? <laughs> Get her out of my sight. And keep an eye on her. 
What the hell do you mean you're sick? You get your little kimono back here right now. Konnichiwa. And the same to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on in. Come here. Good evening. Yeah. Hey. You must be the new girl. <laughs> you ain't half bad. Thank you. What's your name? Keiko. Yeah, look, Keiko, I'm very tense. I want you to give me everything you got. Everything? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm a big tipper. Did you say big dipper? Yeah. <laughs> Massage or acupuncture? <coughs> Just a massage. Oh, sure. Come on, give me a little kiss. Come on. Mm. Oh, you're good. I knew it. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, come on, let me kiss that. Oh, uh. Raise me on that. Okay, I meet your raise. We got it. Mr. Mumbly. <laughs> <laughs> Get started. Caroline, please report to four A. And don't forget the whip and chain. Polly, let's get out of here. <laughs> you two going someplace? I'm afraid we don't offer any takeout service, pal, but uh, we could go fishing again, and maybe I'll cut some bait, huh? Fishing, yeah, that's a good idea. Georgina, this is your last call in room 17. Your time is up. Georgina, please acknowledge. Get Every human body has 360 pressure points. The pressure point for impotence, three inches below your navel. For constipation, four inches below your navel. Yeah, come on, cut out the talk. Get on with it. Was it three inches or four inches? I'm not crazy about. Ah, ooh, hold on, we'll get back to they still call me. Yeah! Bruce, ah, right after this. Ooh, ah. Is someone joining you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Blind date. Nice to meet you. Why don't we go someplace else? The service here is kind of...
kind of unpredictable. Crisp, clean dentine. We'll take care of your breath. The rest is up to you. Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. Fulfill your vacation dreams at Hot Springs, Arkansas. For a free vacation guide, call 1-800-543-9300. Zelda continues. Defeat your enemies and save the kingdom. Beware. 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 Some will help you. Others will betray I'm you. I used to a knife. I can get magic. I can't, can't, can't. I cannot help you. Zelda! Use your sword. Find the crystal. Rescue the princess. Zelda! Zelda! Zelda 2, the adventure of Link, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. What's you making? Sandwiches? For who? For Ma. And you're using a good mayonnaise? But I always use the good mayonnaise. She does? Bring out the helmets and bring out the best. I have the window seat over there. If I can just squeeze on you. We can get out. Oh, no, no, that's all right. I don't want to put you out. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Aren't you glad you used the dial? Could you hold this for a minute, please? I'll take this off. Well, folks, a little bit of a traffic jam. Teacher, I wish everybody did. We're number 12 for takeoff. Hey kids, power up your score on Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 2. Call the Power Phone for Nintendo players. Get high scoring tips and find out how you can get a free Super Power Patch. Call 1-900-909-3500. Don't let Zelda down. Call the power phone. Dial 1-900-909-3500. Power up your game. Destroy Ganon and get a free super power patch. Call the power phone for Nintendo players. Get the secret clues and tips on Punch-Out, Contra, Gauntlet, Kung Fu, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, and more. Call now, 1-900-909-3500. Just $2 for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. Ask mom or dad first. The power phone is an independent information source not affiliated with Nintendo. Nintendo and Nintendo products are registered trademarks of Nintendo America. Pari's in there. Thank you. I'm here to give you a massage. Fishy. I eat too much sushi, raw octopus, and eel. What the hell are you doing in here? You're supposed to be in room nine. Mm. Call me back when you have a yen for yellow tail. Back to your room. <laughs> There's holes in my belly. It's normal condition. Just don't drink for a week. Got something for you, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. There's a C note. You've earned it. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is this? Sam, I 
again. Who? This is Bruce. You know, the guy who has been giving us so much trouble recently. You know, Mr. B, he's the one you want to make a deal with about the fight. He's the greatest thing since Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, huh? Just look at your face. Now, you look half Korean, half Japanese. You can call me Kojap. But they still call me Bruce. Yeah, how's your karate? You as good as they say you are? I'm the best in the East. OK, listen up, partner, and listen good, because I'm only going to say this once. I got no hard feelings against you. Now, if you accept my offer, you can see Polly again. If you don't, you know what will happen. What's the offer? Well, you see, we got this big nationally televised Championship freestyle fight. You know, box, karate, kung fu, the whole works. Everything goes. Now, uh, McLean was supposed to fight. I want you to take his place. Only on one condition. Erase Master McLean's debt, release Polly, and pay Billy's hospital bill. You're pushing it. But it's a deal. Now, let me explain about this here fight. Your opponent is uh, going to be a five-time national champion. He's mean, he's wild, he's ferocious, he's an animal. We call him the executioner. Well, you can lick him. Be a piece of cake. I like cake, but no licking. Suit yourself. Just don't forget one thing. You go down. You go down in the seventh round, or it's no deal. Master Bruce go down? I only go down for Polly, Billy, and Master McLean. <laughs> well, have fun. I'll see you at the arena. <laughs> yeah. This time, I'm going to needle you. Now, get the hell out of here. But the most important, bring my vibe. You're a lucky boy, Billy. Where's Polly? Hmm? Where's my dog? Where's Master Bruce? And Master Bruce was up here all night. He left this for you. Oh, my sock. Oh, where are my clothes? Clothes are all in the dresser right down there. Great, I gotta hey, get hey, out hey, of here. Hey, hey, put your head back. Listen, you've had a very serious accident. You need a lot of rest. Your friend Bruce will be back. I'll see you later. Hi, Cato. Five minutes. Great. Just enough time to throw up. Come on, relax. Yeah, Bruce. I mean, just remember, you're quick, you're strong, you're well-trained. I mean, there's nothing to be afraid of. Why, did Executioner die in his sleep? Ronnie's right, Bruce. You can take this guy easily. Look, you are a nag now. You're not going to let us down. I just don't want to be overconfident. But if I convince myself that Excuse is going to kill me, there's a great chance I could kill him. Maybe if you said it in Korean, I'd understand better. Executioner God, not all you go hand on the Come on. I got you. See, Tiger. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I got it. Hey, guys, you didn't leave any parts for me. Bruce, where do you want me to run? Use your imagination. One minute. Well, that's it. How do you feel? Well, I feel like a pinto going a hundred miles an hour backwards. Bruce, I want you to eat sushi and kimchi and crap thunder. Go get him. Yeah. Okay, gang. Let's go. Well, hey, there you are, boy. And now, look at this. I just got a letter from Santa Domingo, Republica Dominicana. Whoa, hey, let's see what this is all about. Lake Cash. Yeah, let's see. It's from somebody named Melissa Alba. Yeah, let's see what Melissa has to say. Dear Commander, I'm from Santa Domingo in the Dominican Republic. My name is Melissa. I am almost three. Groovy movies are cool. I wear sunglasses. My dad smokes cigars, too, but not like yours. 
<laughs> okay, oh, they can't go. She sent along a cute little picture and a drawing. Yeah, take a look at this, man. That is pretty groovy, you know what I'm saying? Holy cat. Yeah, as a matter of fact, she looks a little like Olivia Elton John there, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, thanks for writing, Melissa. Hey, do you want to write the commander a letter, man? Oh, sure, it's easy. Heck, all you got to do is write the commander USA, Post Office Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Sure. <laughs> Thanks for writing! Commander USA would like to send you a copy of John Stanley's Revenge of the Creature Features Movie Guide. Mm. Tom Hanks and Jackie Gleason. You're the last person I thought would ever come through for me. Nothing in Common on USA, Wednesday at 9. Have you ever seen those commercials where one battery outlasts the others? We'd just like you to know Energizer batteries were never invited to their playoffs. A word to the wise, Energize. A cheese riddle. Mom, what do you get when you grate and melt cheddar cheese over a plain baked potato? Oohs and eyes. That's right, Mom, cheese does make it taste even better, so don't forget the cheese. This weekend on Married with Children. Mom, can I have a computer? Of course you can, dear. What color would you like? Real fancy megabytes or megabytes? Computers are ruining the country. Computers and women. Listen, they're quite similar, Al. Because you don't know how to turn on either one. Al thinks I'm just a high-tech headache. But I feel I've become a part of the family. Uh, Al, what are you doing? No, Al, I was just kidding. Al, hey, what Married with Children. This weekend on Fox. Finally. Time for Wrigley Spearmint Gum. Wrigley Spearmint? What is Wrigley Spearmint? Well, it's pure chewing satisfaction. Please register. It's cool and refreshing. Chewing enjoyment goes on and on. Total. Wrigley Spearmint is pure chewing satisfaction. Everybody ought to check this out. Wrigley Spearmint, pure chewing satisfaction. Hey, what's this stuff? Liquid dial. Why'd we switch? This one has germ killer. Her own liquid soap had germ killer. No, it didn't. Didn't? Nope. I thought it did. Uh-uh. What about the stuff before that? It didn't. It didn't? Never. Never? Never, ever. I thought it did. You thought wrong, dear. I did? You did. Mm-hmm. Most liquid hand soaps don't kill germs. Liquid dial does because it's made with a unique antibacterial formula. I know. I bet the stuff we had way back... Dad, it didn't. Nah, it didn't. Liquid dial. It's made to kill germs. You can't always see it, but it's there. Residue clinging to everything your dishwasher washed. Detergents can't get it off, but Jet Dry can in the final rinse. Jet Dry rinses off what detergents leave behind. Sun ripened raisins, Nestle milk chocolate. Mmm, that's as good as it gets. I want to catch some raisins. Catch some raisins. John Wayne and Robert Mitchum. You know what that mixture will do to a fella? Down. Good morning, good morning, good morning. But far from out, they're this town's only hope. El Dorado on USA, tomorrow at 2, 1 Central. I'd say I'm on your side, and this is no job for amateurs. The fire is back on the red clay in Rome, the 1989 Italian Open on USA. The semifinals next Saturday at 1, the finals next Sunday at 7.30.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this fight extravaganza. We have a very special guest ringside tonight, the new World Heavyweight Champion. He hails from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the Amish Stallion, Rocky Bow. Ladies and gentlemen, in, in the right, right corner, the, the challenger, challenger fighting, fighting for $200,000 from South Korea, weighing 150 pounds, Bruce Soul Man Wong. Weighing 275 pounds, he has, has no hometown, the champion, the executioner. Okay, gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. No headbutts, all blows kept above the belt. No pushing and shoving. All right, I want you to shake hands, go to your neutral corners, and let's come out and have a good fight. Shake his hand. Pretty face, never broken before. Crawl like a butterfly, sing like a bee. What's with Come this? Come on, fight! fans they call master bruce the soul man but the way the executioner is fighting him tonight it looks like he's making fillet of soul out of the soul man you know bob i, I gotta tell you you oh, cut cut who is this guy master bruce master bruce is on tv come on master bruce don't give up suck it to him
and get your man. You stinking creep, you know that? Get out of the ring. And you, Maloney, you're dead too. You got a big mouth, you know? Maybe I should shut up for you too, huh? Come on. Yeah, you're not too tough. Yeah, come on, you too. We're gonna take this guy out now, all right? Seventh. Oh, good. Master Bruce! Master Bruce! Master Bruce, here, put on the sock. How did you get out? I'll explain it to you later. Just put on the sock and sock it to him. You know, Billy, I don't like violence. But sometimes you must fight. You're here. How about you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Wait a minute! Wait, wait, wait a minute! Now, officer, take your hands off you that hold bag. You hold it a minute, I've got a little something for you here. It's a warrant for your arrest. Compliments to the district attorney. And I'm sure officers O'Shea and Franklin will find everything in order. But I pay it. you to protect me, boy. Are you gonna regret this? Just I'm... a minute, Mr. Brown. You're on your own. Get him out of O'Shea, get him out. I don't want to... Master Bruce, what's wrong? You won! Private Brown I've been looking for appears to be Mr. B. Hiya, fortune cookie. It's me, Slim Brown. Ernie Slim Brown. Private Brown would save my life. Scout's honor. I knew it was you from the very beginning, but I couldn't tell you. Because I was working undercover for the district attorney, and I didn't want to blow my cover. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
You know, Confucius said, if someone saved your life, you are indebted to that person the rest of his life. I gotta move in with you. <laughs> <laughs> I brought this for you. This has been now a family generation for 500 years. Bruce, you're beautiful. I want to marry you. Marry me? <sighs> Tito! Tito! Bruce, on behalf of the city, we'd like to present you with this honorary inspector's badge for your efforts in helping to stop crime. Me? Inspector Bruce? <laughs> Inspector Bruce? <laughs> Say, you don't need to sleep tonight. Wouldn't you rather lie awake with your nightlight on, eyes as big as saucers, staring up at the ceiling, shivering in your sheets? Sure you would. And we've got just the movie to do it with. Victor Buono is the evil. Tonight at 8 on USA's Saturday Nightmares. Then vengeance takes hold of a jealous hit woman on The Hitchhiker tonight at 10. And at 10.30, a psycho with a telephone has a divorcee's number. And he's not about to take goodbye for an answer on Alfred Hitchcock Presents tonight at 11. Now stay tuned when the Hollywood Insider visits with Charlie Sheen and Falcon Crest's Anna Alicia next on USA. You've been shut down, but you're coming back again. That was some ending there, huh? Yeah, nothing I like better than a killer sweat oh, sock. Oh, 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 gee, oh, I mean, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. hey, you just take so much, you know what I mean? Oh, man, what a day. Hey, before I leave, though, I want to thank my special friend, Sushimi, for dropping by. Hey, thanks a lot, oh. Sue. You really made the afternoon fly, man. Well, Commander, why don't you come up to my salon for a visit? Oh, gee, I'd like to, but, you know, I got a little headache, you know. Uh, I have something that will help very much. Whoa! Ah! Oh, my God! Whoa! Now I think oh. it is much better. Oh, you know, I feel a little better. Hey, that's oh, great. Yeah, okay, good. I hope you're going to be here next week, boy. Oh, wait a minute. Not next week. I'm taking a little time off. That's two weeks from today, man. Yes, I'm going to be showing Kingdom of the Spiders with William Shatner. Whoa, yeah, it's really going to be neat. That's two weeks from today right here in a video vault. 1 o'clock Eastern and Pacific, 12 o'clock Central. Till then, keep your nose in the wind, your tail to yourself. See you, Pilgrim. <laughs> How about we go catch a little fugu there, Oh, I like very much. All yeah. right. Ah, gee, ooh.